Hello YouTube, Rush Hour, that is this episode, uh, this is really aimed at learner drivers, that uh, learner license holders that haven't clocked up a lot of experience and they're looking to clock up some hours uh, during the war zone that is rush hour. Um, it really isn't recommended if you're a license holder that you um, look at this guy so yeah good good introduction there rush hour <laughs> if you're a learner holder uh, and you really haven't got that many hours on the road um, you, you really should try and cock up some hours during weekends on off-peak hours rush hour is a silly move but some people don't have a choice and so this video is for you. Overtaking. Make sure um, when you overtake someone that, so every now and then you're gonna come across that guy that doesn't know what he's doing, keeps on stopping in the middle of the, the road, um, causing mischief, and you just wanna get in front of him. He's just holding you back. The worst thing you could possibly do is put that guy behind you. Because if he's not paying attention and you've put him behind you by overtaking him, then what's going to happen is he's going to rear end you. You've got no control over the brakes. If um, if he's in front of you and you know he's being dodged, then you've got full control. You've got the brakes. You can stop if he does anything silly. So if you are going to overtake someone, Overtake wisely, overtake, you know, two, three cars in front. Don't leave them behind you. Second tip is intersections during green lights. Treat them as if they were red lights. Uh, especially, uh, well, particularly in rush hour. Because um, sometimes you'll get traffic across an intersection and you, you'll use your rights to lane filter to get beyond it and to get across. Just be careful, always look left and right. Treat it as if it were a red light and you shouldn't be there. Um, because sometimes what will happen is in a congested intersection is that a guy which is in front of you will flash the guys from the side to just go across or the guys in front to cut across to the side. They'll give them a little flash to be courteous. Um, and you won't be able to see that, the flash of the headlights and you won't be able to see them being generous. And so what will happen is you'll be lane filtering across and some guy just got the flash to go across and you both cross at the same time and then a bad accident has happened. Um, so intersections at rush hour, if it's got a green light, just treat it as if it's got a red light. Because there are some people out there that do some real dick moves at rush hour. The devil hour is usually between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. And this is when people are cutting it close to get to work, especially at 10 to 9. You got some, you got dickheads um, breaking all kinds of laws to make sure they're not late for work. Uh, be careful of, uh, you know, be careful around that time, 10 minutes to 9. That's when it all happens. And what you don't want to do is, you know, black yourself out in a black bike and a black helmet and black levers because at night time rush hour is going to be against you so wear some high vis at, at minimum if you're a learner get a nice big white helmet um, because you're just increasing the chance of an accident if someone can't see you a lot of people coming back from work they've been staring at a computer all day they wear glasses they've got bad eyesight they get in the car they're in rush hour and they want to rush home. So now you've got a guy who's rushing in a car who can't see very well and you're blacked out it, uh, to the nines in black. Um, that is the recipe for disaster right there. So just try and avoid it, get something colorful. We'll wear high vis and then what you can do is on weekends when you do want to look like Knight Rider uh, or you want to look like the Lambs version of Ghost Rider you can just take off your high-vis vest during weekends and then put it on during rush hour. 
Yeah, I know, mate. I'm making sure it's safe. You wait for me. When you're coming into a bus lane, don't just hoon it all the way down. Sometimes you get taxis pull out into it, or even people that shouldn't be in it, they pull out into the bus lane. So, I only go about 10 kilometers an hour faster than the traffic in a bus lane. He's indicating, but I'm not sure what he's doing. He's indicating, but he's not going. He's still not going. If you're rushing to work, you're doing it wrong. No one wants to die going to work. A job that they probably don't really want to go to. So just don't rush to work. Be late. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're going to lose your job because you kept being late, well, that's kind of your own fault. But losing your job is going to be better than losing your life or losing a leg. So don't rush. I think the most dangerous drivers that I've seen in Sydney so far are taxi drivers and bus drivers. So just be careful of them because they work on the roads and they're basically fed up. And they're taking every shortcut that they can because they've been on it all day long. Another tip is dry, uh, ride, not drive, but ride. I guess you could do this as well driving as if you were invisible. A little tip I use for tailgaters or just in general before I stop is I feather the brakes like that. Now the brakes aren't actually engaging. I can still move the bike when I feather it like that but the light is flickering like a Christmas tree light behind me and um, what that's basically saying to the guy behind me is that I'm slowing down or I'm about to slow down, look at me, uh, get his attention with a great big red flashing light and then apply the brake properly. So you've given him some warning and sometimes in Russia you get tailgaters that are right up your butt, they don't give you the gap that you need to make a safe stop and if you did make an emergency stop they'll just ram straight into the back of you. That's a tailgater and you get that quite a lot in Russia because for some reason they get home faster if they drive right up your ass. And this is a bit of a dangerous place for a motorcyclist to be. Covered in, in great big heavy vehicles. Buses want to come out, truck on my right, bus in front bus behind it's that's basically gang rape you've got to be careful with the buses as well because they need to turn wide sometimes they need two lanes to make a safe turn so you need to be giving them that space not trying to take it away from them because if they feel like you're not giving them enough room at the end of the day you're one passenger on a motorcycle that bus driver is responsible for 30 passengers and so he's going to take your life over theirs Just open your door in the middle of the fucking road, you prat. There is dangers everywhere. All right, they're my safety messages for commuting. Have fun and ride safe. Uh, my next blog will be a bike check. And then following that, some bike maintenance. See ya.